Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video, we will be comparing the data present in our control file with the data in our actual file. The control file contains important information about the actual file such as its record count size, delimiter used etc. By comparing these two sets of data we can ensure their accuracy and identify any discrepancies. So, let's dive in and create a checksum rule. Let's begin by naming our rule appropriately for clarity. We need to set up a source data connection. The connection type is a file. Connection is flat file SQL. File type is delimited. Let's select our source file that is customer.csv. Let's preview the data. Let's assign a more suitable table name, such as customers. Click on Get Schema. Save the schema. Refresh the data. Observe that our source file, Customers, contains a total of 100 records. Moving on, we'll set up our target data connection. The connection type is a file. Connection is flat file SQL. File type is delimited. Our target file is customer stats CSV, which serves as a control file with information like record count and size. The control file will have one row with a header, record count, that specifies number of records that is expected in the source file, customers.csv. Let's preview the data. Let's assign a more suitable table name such as control file. Click on get schema. Save the schema. Refresh the data. As expected, the control file has only one record, indicating a target count of one. However, our main interest lies in the record count column. which represents the actual number of records in the source file. Let's name the column appropriately and use an appropriate aggregate function like sum. After refreshing the data, we can see that the control file's record count matches the source file's count of 100. Let's proceed to verify our checks, which are auto-populated by comparing the counts. Now, we can publish and run the rule. Let's refresh the runs. We observe that the rule is executed successfully with a status of success. The source count and target count both show 100. We have successfully validated the data in the actual file using the control file. Thank you. With IceTQ Automate Data Migration Testing, ETL and Big Data Testing, BI Report Testing, and Production Data Monitoring, Get ICE DQ today.